it's Doreen and this is Cherub. Some of you may remember her from when we used to live in Hawaii. We got her from the Humane Society. We always like to give senior cats a home because they are the ones that are least likely to be rescued and they're the ones who are the cuddliest and most grateful too. She's a great cat. She did well flying over here and adjusting to our new home in the Pacific Northwest. So if you are someone who relates to being too busy and doing too much, this series is for you. This is gonna be a series of lessons from the Bible that have encouraged me and helped me as a formerly too busy woman and some prayers that will help us with encouragement and support from our Heavenly Father. So Cherub's gonna be with us, it's just us girls. <laughs> In other videos, of course, I'll have some of the other animals, but for just now, it's just Cherub. So Cherub, why don't you make yourself comfortable because I'm gonna get the Bible. There you go. We pet her and brush her a lot, but she still just sheds endlessly. <laughs> so anyway, so I wanted to start with the beautiful lesson that some of you remember. It's in Luke 10. And this is the story of Martha and Mary. In John 11, 5, we learn that Jesus loved Martha, Mary, and their brother Lazarus. And of course, the story is famous of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. So let me just read this to you. So it's Luke 10, 38. I'm reading out of the ESV, English Standard Version Bible. Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village and a woman named Martha welcomed him into their house. And she had a sister called Mary who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him, to Jesus, and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. So let's break down that story and see if you can relate. So imagine that you're in Martha and Mary's shoes and Jesus in his earthly ministry in the flesh, fully God and fully human is coming to your house and I mean, you can just imagine, of course, you'd want to clean and you'd want to straighten and you'd want to prepare the best meal. And that's where Martha got upset with Mary, didn't she? And she even was rude to Jesus. She was rebuking him and demanding, kind of commanding that he do something about it. So what did Jesus say? He said that Martha was overdoing it and missing the whole point. Mary was sitting at Jesus' feet, just absorbing his teaching, just getting so much out of our Lord and Savior. I mean, you can just imagine what that must have been like to hear his teaching in the flesh. And Martha, on the other hand, was in the kitchen not hearing any of this because she was not only kind of slaving to make a nice meal, but she was also fuming and resenting it the whole time. Maybe you can relate to that. So she wasn't doing anyone any favor by being resentful and she wasn't doing herself any favor by missing out on the opportunity to hear lessons firsthand from Jesus's mouth. So what's the lesson in here for all of us? First, um, as we saw, Mary was the one who took advantage of keeping her eyes on Jesus. And that's such a good example for all of us, isn't it? Is to just, no matter what's going on in our life, and all of us are juggling a lot of responsibilities, is just to remember focus on the Lord, focus on Jesus, focus on Jesus. And when we find ourselves feeling resentful like Martha was, take that as a cue to get your focus back on Jesus. As an example, of course, just closing your eyes and praying for Jesus to help you to focus on him is something that's really effective. And whenever we get into resentment, it's really important to pray about it. The other thing that Jesus taught Martha was that she could simplify the meal. She didn't have to make some sort of gourmet banquet. Maybe you feel like you have to impress people, but really it's about the get together. It's about um, sharing time and fellowship with one another, spending that time praying together, reading the Bible together, 
watching a good Christian documentary like American Gospel together, just um, spending time together with each other in fellowship. So simplify is really important, not just for meal making, but for our life in general. Um, one of the things that's important to know, and we'll talk about this more in another video, is that the enemy, the devil, wants to keep us busy and distracted so that our eyes are off of the Lord, so that we are not reading our Bible, so that we are not taking the time to pray, so that we are not making the time for connections with our sisters in Christ and spending time in fellowship with them. You know, women's Bible study classes, for instance, or um, asking your sisters to pray for you or pray with you. It's really important to make the time for spiritual disciplines, and the devil's really good at keeping us away from what is really important. So we can learn from Martha and Mary, can't we? And of course, sometimes people say, yeah, but someone's gotta make the meal. Well, yeah, but let's not do it with resentment, and let's try and make it simpler. We can do a really good job and be simple. One of the things that we can do is ask Jesus for uh, discernment and we can ask him to give us strength so that we have that strength to say no to requests that we know would pull us away from what is really important so why don't we pray together right now okay heavenly father we praise you for your sovereign nature we know you have your hand in everything every part of our life you are aware of and you are in charge of. And we just thank you for this opportunity that your son Jesus has given us through his work on the cross, tearing the veil of the temple so we can come to you directly like this. We thank you so much for helping us with your Holy Spirit to help us with discernment in choosing what to do in our daily schedule, in helping us to know what is truly a priority and what is not. Please help us to simplify our lives, Lord. Please help us to really pare down um, and to recognize when the enemy is trying to distract us, trying to keep us busy with things that do not matter. Help us to utilize the resources that we have that you've given to us, Lord, in a way that glorifies you, in a way that honors you, God. And please help us to remember to stop and consult you before we make these decisions so that you can show us through your word what is your will for us. Please help us to remember to read our Bible daily, to stay in prayer, to repent when we know that we have turned away from you, and to come back to you. We thank you so much, Lord, for this reminder to keep our vision and our sights on you and you alone, Jesus. And as we pray together, we lift each other up in prayer. And we thank you so much in Jesus' name, amen, for all of this help and support and provision that you're giving to us. In Jesus' name, amen. So, what do you think, Cherub? Cherub's good at being more of a Mary than a Martha. She takes a lot of naps during the day. <laughs> Oh, the life of a cat, right? <laughs> anyway, it's been so great to, to be with you in this video. I look forward to being with you in the next video. God bless you, sister.